but it seems like, and, I, and I'm not clear on this, that Acton may have a little more of a structure around kind of what the day-to-day -day activities are. Not that they're determined. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true. That doesn't sound like it. But that there's a there's a way that it's structured so that they kind of know what to expect. They know what's coming. Tell us a little bit about how that how those that is structured. Like, is it is it you know, just kind of open spaces and they kind of self-determine within those things, or what, how how do you do that? It is determined a little bit. I think this is the only part where the adult might have a little bit of say. It's mm. it's how the day looks. Mm. So if we were to spread out the span of time what does the schedule look like for them? Okay. And so that is not to be said ever that it's set in stone. Right. It is, here's the, here's the menu. So mm. you've got your menu from the top to the bottom. Now you guys might realize, and this is about developing and making great decisions. You have to be able to make those decisions in order to make great ones later right. down the line. So if you realize like, hey, my snack, I went 15 minutes over, can I go 15 minutes into outside? They're negotiating that time on their own. Mm. That's executive functioning. Mm -hmm. You know, this mm -hmm. is what we want most adults to be able to do. They're able to negotiate their schedule, at least within, within our building, they're mm. able to negotiate that because they're managing their own time. Okay. They're managing each other on their own time. So we do have, you know, we do have some learners that are so they like to have that schedule and they like to be bound to it and mm -hmm. they will not vary from it whatsoever. And then we have some that don't and some that are like, oh, I'm 30 minutes. You guys have already been working for 30 minutes. Oh, I was over here doing this. Mm -hmm. So everybody always has that ability to make the decision. It's how do you how do you then reach the the amount of time that you need to give to something in order to do it well or do it with excellence? How much more time do you need to give than in the rest of your day? And mm -hmm. it's them negotiating that. Mm -hmm. And they'll come say, hey, I realized I did that and I did that. Okay. And I, I constantly say like, okay, like <laughs> I don't know what you just told me, but it sounds good to me because they still also want to sometimes just check in and it's it's crazy. Even some of our kids who've been with us for three years still want like that. Hey, just so you know where I'm at, uh -huh, uh, okay. uh -huh. you don't have to check in with me, but that's okay. So our day is semi-structured in that sense. And that really, one of the biggest reasons I think I have stuck to that is because of the way that our physical space actually is. Mm. It looks like a co-working space for an for adults, okay. except it's for children. So I have a lot of half walls and wide open space. Because of that, if we are doing something that requires concentration and kind of our flow, then it's quiet in the building, you know? And I mean quiet to be like, it's not, um, you won't fly drones in the middle of like right. core skill time because you know people are concentrating. You know, that's gonna take place at lunch or after. So it's it because of the way that our space is kind of set up, mm -hmm. that's why we keep it. So this is a quiet working time. If you wanna work in a group, we've got rooms with doors. You can go work in the library, my office, mm -hmm. any office. It's their space. So that's one of the reasons. And also just the predictability as they as they're learning to develop, you know, the responsibility for themselves, it helps them to know and understand kind of what are they responsible for on any given day. Mm -hmm. But they know what falls underneath. I can go up to any learner and say, hey, what are you working on right now in writing? And they'll be able to go find most, not all, mm -hmm, right. I shouldn't say all, <laughs> most will be able to go and find and show me like, oh my gosh, look at my poetry I just wrote or Look at what I just wrote. It's it's very much a this continuum of, yeah, why not? I mean, of course, why not? Why wouldn't you make that decision? Why uh -huh. wouldn't you be able to do those things? And so that is kind of how we're structured. They even get to make a choice over the core skill tool they want to use. Mm -hmm. There's no single one set in stone. If one works better, because that's the type of, of 
learning that they enjoy or they're most engaged with, Mm -hmm. then who who am I to say, no, that's not on our list? Like, all right, so we get one, one for you, you know, or one for you or five of you are going to do this. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mm -hmm. you guys want to do this as a cohort. They get to make those decisions. And then we do present challenges, but we never know how the challenge is going to work out. Mm -hmm. So we'll have an overall idea, you know, and that's quest. That's our project-based learning time. How they use that time is dependent upon them. They have the, they have their quest, they get delivered some questions that they go off and research. They come together, they discuss them in their Socratic discussions and then they go on and they do the work and you just never know how the work's going to turn out. We've had some beautiful disasters and then we've had some (laughs) disastrous disasters. So Uh uh where nothing works. And so again, the, the most amazing part is them going through the process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, just we're a coach on the side, you know, some days you have bad days and And you just need to feel inspired. And so what can we equip them with? What story can we give in order to inspire them to keep going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is, you know, as much as taking off the breaks, we don't do a lot of break (laughs) or hand holding. If they have a thought or idea, it's just up to us to help talk through it with them Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. they get to foresee whatever they envision. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.